What's going on everyone? Welcome on into today's video. We are talking about how to chart stocks and how to use the targeting features here on TradingView, a tutorial for beginners. Let us dive on in. So right now we're looking at tradingview.com. We're gonna leave a link in the pinned comment and video description box. If you wanna check out TradingView, um, get signed up for a free account, get signed up for a free trial. There will be some limitations with the free account, but we are, we are currently using the pro version of TradingView right now as we speak. Okay. So we've got plenty of videos already diving through a bunch of other parts of TradingView, which might be useful to you. If you have any other questions, check out the playlist on TradingView first on the channel. Um, but let's dive into it. So let's just say I want to look up a specific stock or on my right hand side, I got my um, my watch list and I want to go look at Tesla stock. Let's go click on Tesla stock and let's see if we can add Tesla. Double click on that and I'm going to launch the full chart view. Here we go. So. Now I got Tesla. I'm going to go to the one year, one day. I like a nice cleaner background chart. I don't want too much stuff jumping around on me here. Uh, I got a bunch of indicators pulled up already. Maybe you care, maybe you don't. We have a video going over how to add indicators to your chart. So I would check that video out if you guys are, are curious um, as to some of the things that maybe, you know, you might not, might not understand here, but we'll kind of walk you through here as best as possible, as easy, as simple as possible. Okay. So we're looking at Tesla and we want to talk about how to use the charting features and really get how, how you can start to jump in here, customize some stuff, get going, get, get the ground running and start making your own adjustments, making your own charts, making your own lines, making your own good stuff. Okay. So we're using the web platform here, uh, tradingview.com on a Mac. So just so you kind of have a feel, it's a pretty large screen. So I know it's maybe a little bit small if you're on mobile, but uh, I'll do my best to kind of walk it through uh, essentially what we're talking about. Right. So first things first, if I go up on the top left, I have my ticker symbol. I have a plus, I can compare or add a symbol. Not really, you know, something we're gonna dive much into if I wanna compare to SPX, then great. I can compare Tesla versus the, the yellow line here of SPX. You know, might, maybe that's useful, maybe that's not. I'm gonna click on Command Z and it will kind of just get rid of that uh, and, and go back. That's kind of like my undo on, uh, on, on the Mac keyboard shortcut. So Command Z gets rid of that. Not really the purpose of this video, um, to be honest. We'll dive deep. We can dive deeper into that in a future video. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. So, what I have right here is this next piece. It says D stands for one day. If I click on this, I can change my time frame on the chart, which could be very, very useful. I have seconds, I have minutes, I have hours, and I have one day. At the bottom of my chart right here, I have one day, I have five day, I have one month, three month. I'm looking at the one year. It's going to give me a look at Tesla over the past one year, right? And I, I can start zooming in, zooming out um, by using my mouse on the chart if I want to. And if I utilize on the right-hand side and I was to click and scroll down on the, the right-hand side of my screen right here, what it's going to do, it's going to compact the chart. If I was to click on the right-hand side on the, the y-axis where we have these numbers or the price and I scroll up, it's going to expand the chart. So this is useful if I'm zooming out, I'm like, oh man, I can't really see that well, or I want to zoom in. Boom, I can zoom in, zoom out, I can get a better feel for things. Just expanding and, and contracting on the right-hand side of my chart, right? So that's useful to do, just to kind of reset yourself, orient yourself, uh, and hopefully that's a good start for us here, okay? So there's that. Um, again, on the bottom left, we have this, which essentially we'll be going through um, different time frames, five years, past five years on Tesla, past one year, year to date. We have six month. The one day is going to give you essentially the past one day and the one minute chart. Uh, of course, we can really see that the, the scale on the right hand side is like crazy, crazy, crazy. So if I click on auto, I can adjust the scale bottom right, right here. Auto will adjust my scale to kind of fit the screen based on whatever time frame I'm looking at. Again, if I go back now to the one year chart, it's super zoomed in. I'm like, whoa, what just happened? Because our scale was not adjusted from the last from the last time we looked at. Click on auto, boom. Now we have it, our our scale's adjusted. Rather than me going up and down and you know messing around and trying to zoom in, zoom out, and it might just take a bit longer. So that's useful. Um, outside of this, there's a bunch of other features I want to dive into. We are currently look. We have auto selected by the way. So now once I have auto selected on the bottom right. If I was to go to the five day chart, it's going to auto fit the scale, which is great. So if this is not selected, make sure it is, um, or else you're going to be scrolling up and down too much or having to click it every two seconds, which is not really worth your time. Okay, great. So that's done. Next is right here. The, we have the, the candlesticks. I'm currently using hollow candles. You can look at things like Heikinashi. You can look at area charts, line charts. You might look at, like, just look at lines. I mean, I don't like to look at that. 
for trading purposes, but I like to look at hollow candles. There are videos already on this channel covering candlestick patterns, um, what they mean and how to read them. Hollow candles, Heikinashi candles, uh, bar. We got a bunch of videos, so check those out. They're very, very useful if you are curious as to what they mean. For most people, honestly, just a regular candlestick chart, greens and reds, is probably fine, right? It's probably fine. I like to look at hollow candles. They're a little more, they, they give me a little more information. That's all. So it's my personal preference. Uh, we have the indicators, which we have a video on already covering indicators. So check that out if you guys have not done so already. Then we also have this right here, which is going to kind of give us some more templates. If I want to, I'm not going to look at that here because I want to start diving through the left-hand side here and showing you how to use these features. Alerts, replays, already videos on those um, as well. If not, they're coming out very, very soon, already filmed. So now... We are looking at the top left or the left-hand side, the bar on the left-hand side. So we're looking at this toggle feature. I, I'm using a cross and I can kind of toggle on my screen if I click, click down and move it around. That's what I like to use. Maybe you like to use a dot and a dot is kind of what you want to do. Maybe you like just using the arrow. Great. Or there's the eraser tool as well right here uh, if you would like to. That's simple. I like to use a cross or the dot. Uh, and then here's the trend line. So here's the trend line. If I click on the little arrow um, next to these things, like they're, you're going to get the main, the main feature is like the picture shown. But if you click on the arrow, it's very, very small, but it goes into the trend line tools. Boom. There's so many more different trend lines I can use. For me, I like to use things like horizontal lines. So now if I click on the chart, boom, horizontal line pops on up everywhere I click on, on, on the on the chart. Uh, I have to re-click on the horizontal line to re-add them to different spots if I want to. Um, so that's what I'll be doing as of right now. And then again, Command Z on the keyboard will delete them in order of when they were last put up. So there's that. Again, if I wish to go back here and go to the trend line tool, uh, I will click once on my screen, okay? And then where I click on the second time is where it will essentially draw the trend line in. So boom, just like that, Trend line is drawn in one, two, three touches. For me, that's a valid trend, and I will leave that trend line in on Tesla. Okay, now if we come back up to the upside, I'd be targeting up here towards that trend line for an area of resistance, right? To watch on Tesla. We have more indications here uh, Fibonacci retracements, pitchfork. There's so much more you can look at here, guys, and it's not. We, we don't have time to dive into all these. And for most people, they don't even care about all these different things, but they're useful. Okay. So if I want to use Fibonacci's boom, I can go ahead and do that. It'll populate on my screen and give me all the levels I need to know uh, as well, which is useful if you would like to. Um, we have this one, which I think this is an underrated tool. Um, we have the brush, highlighter, rectangle, circle, ellipse. We can draw in different things on our chart. For me, the brush is cool. Why? Because if I'm demonstrating something, and I want to target a certain area or, or, or highlight a certain area or, or show you a, a certain spot, well, then I'm going to just use this brush and say, hey, guys, this is three touches to our line. It's an important area to watch. That's a valid trend if we can now touch that trend line three times. So maybe it's useful for you to look at there or to kind of visualize some stuff. Up on the top of our screen, see this guy right here? I'm, I'm holding him now. This is where we can edit this. So I can change the color of what I'm drawing. I can change the size and the thickness of my line. So maybe I want to make it thicker and I want to make this nice and thick so people can see it. Might be useful for you, might not. This feature right here locks everything in place, unlocks it so I can now edit these if I wanted to. Uh, we have a delete so I can delete my latest pick, my latest piece. Uh, and then of course on the left hand side, I click on this little trash can right here, this little trash can aerial. I can remove drawings, remove indicators, remove drawings and indicators. Let's say I, re I remove drawings, boom, my trend line's gone, my circles are gone, all that stuff is gone. So it might be an easier way to kind of clear your chart, cleanse it, all that good stuff. I can even add text, which is actually kind of cool. It, there's a lot more you can do. There's anchored text, there's notes, there's all the tweets. I mean, you can add so much different stuff here. And there's so many integrations that you can use on TradingView, which I like a lot. But if I wanna add text, boom, I can go in and here say, hey, Tesla, or I'll say just like new high touch. Maybe I want to leave a note. Um, I don't know, resistance, um, something like that. Like resistance for me to, to watch and, and, and look at later on. You know what I mean? Maybe I want to leave that in there. And then I come in here, go back to my little main cross tool, and I can grab this guy, move him around, and, and I can even resize him and, and whatever I want to do. And and, you know, it could be useful if you're trying to point out certain things, you know, show someone something or just leave some notes on your chart for yourself. Um, it's very, very useful for you there. So that's the text feature. We have this next tool right here. 
all different kind of patterns you can draw out, which is kind of useful. We have this tool right here, um, which could really be helpful in if you want to build a long position, right? So if I was to utilize this tool right here on the left-hand side, this um, long position, short position forecast, different, all the different stuff right here, let's just say I did. Now, it could be very, very nice to draw out to calculate your risk reward ratio. So maybe I'm looking at this, I'm actually, gonna, I'm gonna go say, I'm gonna go short actually. Let's go back here and go with a short position. So right where we're at, I'll click, I'll click on the chart right where we're at. And here it goes. So if I'm going to do and play with a risk reward ratio of one, meaning I'm risking $1 to make $1 essentially in this case, well then this is gonna be very, very useful. I can change all that stuff. So I can edit this in a couple of different ways. I can change the, the colors. I can change everything, the text and whatever I wanna do. Cool, great. That's up here. Mess around with it if you want to. But the, the purpose of using this is let's say I wanted to change this. Let's say I wanted to change my, my, my targets or my my risk. So here it tells me, hey, I'm gonna risk this much. I'm gonna make 14% uh, is my target to the downside. 14% is the, is the loss. I wanna say, hey, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not sitting here. I'm not, I'm not risking one-to-one. -one. This means that I must be right more than half the time for me to be pop profitable and maybe I'm not, right? So this means I wanna risk, let's say, half of my reward. So I will come in here, bring this guy down until I see that that risk reward ratio is around a two, which tells me I'm gonna risk $1 to make $2. And in this case, that makes sense to me. Or maybe I can line this up with an area of resistance up around 800 bucks. And so maybe at 803, I'll get stopped out or that's my risk. And now it tells me my risk reward ratio is a 2.46, which is really, really nice in my opinion. So maybe this is what you want to do. And you can essentially plan your trades with stuff and indicators like this. So that's really, really useful. And of course, if Tesla starts going to the upside and it can stop you out and, and, and it's very, very helpful to kind of draw this in, visualize it on your charts. Uh, another great feature here. I'll go on the little trash can, get rid of it and move on to the next one. You got all different indicator, little smiley faces, little pictures you can draw in, all that good stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't really use it too, too much to be honest, but let's say I want to add an icon right here. I want to go in here. I click on the little smiley face, boom, I got a little smiley face icon. Here he is. Um, backspace, delete him if I want to, or I can add in, let's say, arrows. This could be more useful, to be honest with you. Like, I might have an arrow that I want, I want to add in here and go, okay, here's my entry. You know, here's my exit. If I'm, I'm trying to visualize some stuff for myself, that could be useful for you uh, uh, there. We've got a measurement tool. So this is actually kind of cool. It can kind of measure um, certain things like percentage increase, the, the move, how many days, the volume, all that good stuff. Um, which is useful. So I can kind of use this measurement tool to kind of visualize, okay, if I'm targeting a certain level, that means I'm gonna target, I'll just go back here and I'll use Tesla as this example. Um, click on the measurement tool. If I'm targeting, let's say this red line as my area, okay, that means that's about 10% and then I might visualize, okay, based on this the past couple of movements, I wanna make sure that I give it like two weeks. So I'll give it, I'll give it two weeks here and I, you know, if I'm looking at, you know, to back my way into a trade, this is kind of the, the, the time span on the chart that I would need to kind of visualize, right? It could be useful. Uh, maybe it's not, maybe it is. There's a zoom in feature so I can zoom into a certain spot. Boom. If I want to, to be honest, I really wouldn't, I don't use it that much. I, I would just zoom in on my mouse, if, you know, to be honest, but you know, that that's that there's magnet mode, which will kind of snap in drawings um, that you, let's say you add a trend line, add a support resistance line, you add in a horizontal line, right? and it will snap that into the nearest open high lower close um, on that where you're drawing the thing. So it could be useful. I, I don't use it too, too much. I, to me, my my exact, I, I'm, not, I'm not trading like cent to cent. Uh, I'm looking at bigger picture like, okay, here's my target area. I'm not looking at like, oh, to the cent. I, I don't care to be that accurate. For some people, maybe you do. And that could be useful. So you want to have your lines drawn in to the scent of the prior high, the prior low, the prior close or whatever on that, wherever you're drawing, you know, that area. Next, we have staying drawing. Well, we have lock drawing tools. So I you know, can lock them if I want to unlock them. We have high drawings or unhide. So let's say I have a bunch of stuff in my chart and it's too cluttered, but I, I don't want to delete it. I like click on high drawing tools and that can be good for me to do. I would say I want to draw a couple areas of resistance in. I go to high drawing tools, it's gone. Unclick that guy, boom, it's good to go. So 
there's a lot here, guys. There's a lot, really. There's, there's honestly even more where that came from, but that's hopefully a great base to kind of work off of when it comes to trading view, using the charts, using the features, how to chart stocks here. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Check out our other videos on the TradingView playlist, other videos on the channel. We have a ton of tutorial videos here on this channel, which is a great resource for you all for free. Check it out if you would like to. Again, we'll leave those links to TradingView uh, in the video description and pinned comment below if you want to check it out, get a free trial, test it out for 30 days, see if you like it or not, and then make your play off of that. Uh, outside of that, also a linked webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal. That'll be linked in the video description box down below. It's free. Check it out. Hope to see you guys in a future video. Make sure to thumbs up button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.